Hello, citizens of YouTube. This is the Geeky Nerd here, and today we're going to be talking about the Grey Guns flat trigger as well as the short reset LEM kit for an HKP30. Now, this happens to be an HKP30L LEM or Law Enforcement Modification Light Trigger System. Whew, that's a mouthful. So before I begin, I'd like to send a big thank you out to everyone who has liked, commented, and subscribed on the previous videos. I always appreciate it and always enjoy talking to you guys. If you're new here to the channel, welcome. If you enjoy this video, find it helpful, or enjoy the type of content we have here, please consider liking, commenting, and or subscribing. And with the PR out the way, let's get into it. So the HK P30 and in specific the HK P30L, otherwise known as the Wick Stick, <laughs> um, which is my kind of take on this because if John Wick was having this gun, uh, he would 100% upgrade to this trigger. That is how awesome it is. I have not enough good things to say about it and how much it has revolutionized and changed this gun for me because I love the HK P30 before and I really love it now. Uh, in particular, I like the LEM models. I like the LEM triggers. Some people don't like them. They prefer that double action, single action, but me, 100% LEM all the way. And for those of you guys that don't know, LEM stands for Law Enforcement Modification. And basically, it means that on a fired gun, um, or sorry, on a cocked gun, so let's just say, of course, nothing in the chamber, nothing in the magazine. I did that backwards. Reverse it, flip it. You guys know what I mean. <laughs> uh, but with a supposed round in the chamber, you would have a very long but very light uh, trigger pull. So that way it prevents uh, accidental discharges. So you have to make an intentional act to go all the way here. But once you're here, then it would break. And then, of course, every cycle, you would then have a lighter single action-esque pull. So... I just love the technology that kind of went behind designing that um, and just how it functions, and I've always enjoyed it. Now, the problem with it, though, is that the double action uh, upon second strike, now that's one good thing about these LEMs, is that let's say you have a light primer strike on that one, it's a very long and very heavy trigger pull for the second round, so you do get double strike capabilities, which is nice, unlike a striker-fired gun. But enough about the LEM, we're talking about the trigger here. Uh, but getting to it. So with the trigger, it's... It was very long, it was very heavy, uh, but also the reset was pretty much half the distance. Like it, it, had, it came out pretty far. Now it was light, but still came out pretty far before you could um, uh, fire again. And I was looking around, looking around, looking around, and I set it on the uh, Grey Guns kit. Now I did install the Grey Guns trigger and the short reset uh, trigger system myself, but Excuse some of the background noise here, guys. Um, for those of you guys that are here to the channel, you see we have a new type of setup here, new lighting, new camera. We're doing a 4K, so uh, I'm going to work on uh, work on a bit more soundproofing here, but just bear with me. Uh, Poe body's perfect. <laughs> um, but with this trigger, uh, one thing I really didn't like about it was the fact that it was plastic. Because it was plastic, with that longer pull, you could feel that the plastic would start to flex. So as the trigger shoe was there, it would flex just a bit outwards. Um, also the reset, like I said, it was, it was just long. So upon installing this, first of all, the installation is a PITA, pain in the rear, uh, for the whole kit, mainly the trigger part, because you gotta take out a lot more um, in order to, uh, to do the trigger. For the short reset, isn't too much, but if you're going for one, you might as well go for both, in my opinion. Uh, this is one thing that I would happily pay for, but also, you know, whatever it was for a uh, Grey Guns to do, I believe it's like $80. $80 is $80. So I figured I could put that something else. Anyway, um, that's enough about the general overview. You can install it, but like I said, pain in the rear. Anyway, uh, so you can see here is the trigger. Now, I, it is a flat trigger. It does have a slightest little curve at the bottom, and it is metal, which is nice. Um, in the single action, you can see that it is, I mean, effortlessly light. I mean, I'm trying to illustrate it here, but it is very light with that LEM. Now, once you get to this phase, now, I know I keep saying now here, but uh, getting to that wall there, it, it's light and you feel it, it's a noticeable wall, it doesn't go past it. Now. I'm trying to illustrate it here, but it breaks at essentially a 90 degree angle because as soon as right here, it's going to break. And what's nice about that is uh, with the other trigger, it would it would be curved all the way down. And that's what this little 
trench inside the trigger guard was for to prevent, uh, as HK says, to prevent your gloves, prevent your finger from getting uh, stuck. What I would notice, however, though, is when I'm right here, I would feel it kind of digging into my finger and kind of getting pinched as even though they dug out that little trowel for it, I would still feel it. But with this flat trigger, it prevents that from happening every single time uh, just because it kind of gets your finger away from it. And being that it's metal, it has a very stern feeling to it. Like you don't feel any kind of flex and it it, help, it improves the overall trigger feel. So, like I said, one more time. I mean, I'd say this is like, to pull this is maybe not even a pound. And then the wall is probably, like as soon as you hit that wall, it's maybe a two, maybe three pound. That's it, so four pounds overall that you're really gonna feel. Um, but for being this gun, it's fantastic. And now the reset. Right there. And you see how little the hammer actually moves. So in that limb model, it just moves ever so slightly up. You feel the click. Now, from where you do feel it re-engage. So you can see I do have a little bit of play. And you do feel it. And there's a bit more take up. So you click out here, a little bit more take up, and you're at the wall again. But compared to where it was before, it would break, it would clear like out to here. And then you would have to pull all the way back. And then, oh, if I cycle the gun, it would, instead of breaking there, it would break, uh, reset, I should say, about all the way out to here. And then you'd have to go all the way back in order for it to fire. So the uh, short reset trigger system from Grey, Grey Guns, it's fantastic, worthy upgrade. Uh, again, the installation is a pain in the rear. If you, uh, if you feel comfortable sending your gun, also that's one thing I'm not one to really, once I have my guns in my possession, I don't prefer letting them out of my sight or out of my possession. That's just me. Uh, maybe my little OCD, I, you know, I really don't trust the mail carriers like that. Um, of course, you know, Every, uh, every gun guy says they're paranoid about something, right? Mine's the mailman. <laughs> uh, but it has improved this gun phenomenally. And if this is truly the uh, choice of John Wick, at least in the first movie, which is the best movie, in my opinion, fight me in the comments about it. <laughs> um, this is what I would believe the system will go with. Now, the only thing I would say about this whole kit if you were being super anal retentive and picky about it is that you do have to replace the uh you don't have to but it's recommended in order to get the best feel the firing pin block spring in here now you're replacing with a lighter spring that gives you a lighter feel some people say that could give to one a, um, a less safe gun i don't see that it's still a spring there it's still holding it in there or two that it can make the gun a little bit more reliable because it is not designed to be 100% reliable, no compromise as HK intended. To which I also say it's a change of a spring and it's not going to stop the gun from functioning. It's it's one of those parts where the gun will still function. It will be just less safe. It's not going to remove the reliability of it, uh, just the safety of it up hit. So, um Overall, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please consider liking, commenting, or subscribing. Um, if you have any kind of questions with this, let me know. Again, it, it was definitely a tricky install. Uh, I did do the installation video. I'm trying to chop it up, but it's kind of like a hodgepodge mess, so I don't want to give you guys an unfinished video like that, although I might just later on the day, depending on how many uh, comments views this get or if you guys are having issues with it because uh, I like to impart the knowledge, but you're going to have to bear with me through a lot of swearing and a lot of, uh, a lot of frustration. But with that, I hope everyone is having a wonderful, awesome, fantastic day, and I'll catch you guys next time. See you guys.